Okay, we've been needing a milk stand, and I, I told you all that uh, we were sitting over there on the porch one day, and I looked over there and seen this thing that Paul had uh, been using for a stand for his dog when he's duck hunting. I said, that looks like a milk stand there if we'd disassemble it a little bit and uh, add a few things to it. And we just hadn't had time to do it, and Paul hurt his knee a couple days ago. He blowed his knee out, so... Uh, He's been home the past couple of days, and him and Jeremiah helped him out here last night. And uh, finished it up. Got her a little, as you can see here, it's got a place for her head and her feet. And me and Paul can take turns milking her there, and it don't hurt our back. Or I got a bum knee, too. We just all banged up. You see Oakley? He's out here supervising. But they did a good job on it. We didn't have to buy one. We just repurposed. Old yep, old lumber we had here. We just re repurposed something we already had. and They put their minds together and got it done. And Phoenix seems to like it. and Seems to be Oakley approved and Huh? And the dog still has a place at the duck line. Yeah, and the dog still has a place at the duck line. Oh, Shh. Shoulder. Anyhow, that beats we was milking her off of the ground. It was, oh. it was rough. We got, I guess, a little old stainless steel milking bucket. But... We thought about getting an automatic milker. We're still going to check into it, but uh, we got to figure out if it's worth the... Just for the one right now, we are going to get another dough or two, but uh, for right now, if it's worth the cleanup of the automatic milker, or just easier just to clean a bucket every day and sterilize it. We're going to start freezing some of our milk that we have extra until someday we can afford a freeze dryer. Then we'll freeze dry our milk. Yep. That's right. I just like to take this time to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. We raise our meat here to be self-sufficient. We have chickens and we collect our eggs and uh, we have goats and uh, we milk those for our milk. So we try to live a sustainable life. We hunt mushrooms, we grow gardens, we preserve, can. Try just to be self-sustainable in this world of uncertainty. Now if that's the kind of content you like, family, faith, homesteading, sustainability, then uh, we invite you to subscribe to our channel, Lone Star Ranch Homestead, and become part of our family and follow our journey. We'd love to have y'all along. Take care.